Hello everyone, uh, this video is going to show you how you can visualize point clouds in 3D Studio Max using a few different ways. And this is going to be really simple, but I'm going to import a point cloud starting from scratch here. So I've got Max 2020 open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the geometry tab here, go on standard primitives and bring in clouds to max. And here, click on the clouds to max button. I'm going to click somewhere around the center here and I'm going to load a point cloud that's already been converted. I'm going to choose this one here. So what should happen here when I zoom out is I should see a point cloud right there pop up and I'm going to uh, increase the uh, the view here, the zoom, and get into a single perspective. So there you go. Uh, now this particular point cloud, if I look at it, you'll see that it's off of the ground plane quite a bit. So uh, this is important to know because these settings are important. But I'm going to zero this like that, zero, zero, zero. So I hit the, I had the point cloud selected. I hit the W key and I just entered zero, zero, zero for the X, Y, and Z. The pivot is way down at the bottom and the point cloud is up top. Now this is important to know right now. Uh, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So let me get close here. So right now you can see we are looking at the colors of the point cloud and that's pretty clear. I think I'm going to select the point cloud here and look at the settings here. So the first thing to note, something that's going to be important, if I go to the details here, so viewport details, this is the way we visualize this, and I decrease this number to 0 0.1, you'll see that things start to look uh, a little splotchy, okay? So the performance is great, but it doesn't look all that fantastic. So if you want to recover some of the details back, we're going to make this details uh, setting back to one and you'll see that it kind of snaps back in and we get all our details again so let's just try that one more time i'm in here uh, i'm going to choose 0 0.1 you'll see that the point size increases and it looks kind of rough uh, but it performs well and i'm just going to hit one and then you'll see that it goes down to the uh, full detail and it uh, looks pretty good there you have it that's that's all there now in terms of the colors if I scroll down here, there's really three options. So the first one is the RGB color, and that's what we have right now. So so long as your point cloud has some color, this is what you would display. The second is intensity. So if this is laser scanner data and you switch to the intensity, then this is what I'm demonstrating here. You can see that I've lost the, uh, the red, green, and blue channels, but I'm showing the intensity uh, channel, which is fine. The last one is the height ramp. I'm going to click on that and you see that it just turns red. Now for the height ramp, I need to go back to the ramp min and ramp max. So right now I'm just set to zero, zero. And all these points, if you remember, they were way off the ground. So if I zoom back here, okay, the zero, zero is down here. So they're all showing red because they're way above the maximum value. Now I happen to know that this these points here are somewhere around the 90 meter mark. So what I'm going to do just very quickly is I'm going to choose the ramp minimum at about 90. And I choose the maximum at about 95. Okay, and you'll see that some colors started to change here. So I'm just going to play with these and move this up. So I'm going to click up. You can see I'm just getting a little bit of red on the top, and that's at about 101 meters. And down at the bottom, I'm going to start increasing this until I see blues. Something like that. What we're doing is we're showing that anything that's around the 93 meter mark down here, blues, and as we go up to the maximum at 101 at the top, they're now showing as reds. This is great to visualize uh, flatness or levelness, or if you want to see if a road um, you know, moves up or down, uh, you can set a sort of a cutoff level, and this will be presented to you in a color ramp. And of course, if you don't want that, you just switch back to the RGB color. Now, one thing about the uh, height ramp at the moment, the values that you enter here are based on the initial values when the point cloud is first brought in. So you see I have this offset from the pivot to the point cloud. If I adjust this, meaning I adjust the pivot back here, it still maintains or still wants to use the initial values. Now, maybe that'll change in a future update, but this is currently the way that this works. And so just keep that in mind. So I'll go back to color. And uh, the, about the only other thing that I would want to show you here is that we have a button here that says toggle viewport text. Sometimes it's nice to make a small animation in the screen here. And what we do is uh, just toggle the viewport text. So just as an example, if I want to auto key something, and this is going to be really rough, I'll make, I'll actually not make create a camera. I'll just move the point cloud. And I'll move this like this and 100 frames. I'll just rotate that around like that. Okay, so I've got this and my animation looks something like that. Okay, it's not really pretty, but you guys get the point. If I let this play, and let's see here what we're going to get here.
Okay, so just something like that. And this is just going to loop. It's nothing fancy. But if I wanted to screen capture this, what I would want to do is get rid of the viewport text. So if I click on that, it disappears. So if I take a screen capture right now, I don't have any of the, the text that's up here. Now the view cube here, if I stop this, um, the view cube here, if I right click, um, you can go to configure and you can get rid of this as well. So I'll just do that here. I'll say, don't show the view cube hit okay it disappears so now you have a really nice screen if you want to create a screen recording just like that um, now my text is back let me reset that get rid of it so there you go you got a nice clean screen nice clean background you can present a animation very quick fly through uh, using this particular method and it saves you a ton of time instead of using uh, rendering and that's about all I have thanks